What is going on guys, this is your favorite sensei, Astrum Sensei, and I'm back with another Unreal Engine for beginner tutorial. So in today's video, we are going to be taking a basic look at materials for beginners and newbies. So if you are a newbie or a beginner and you want to see what are the basics of creating materials in Unreal Engine 4, then this is the right tutorial for you. And if you are used to the engine and you just want a refresher, you can also watch this, but this is intended for complete beginners. So we are going to be looking at how to create a material and the basics of each thing you will need when you are starting with the material editor but before we get started please make sure to like the video and subscribe if you are new to the channel because i'm trying to reach 20,000 subscribers we are only 9,000 subs away so yeah it is not that far i have also made a video called blueprints for beginners and newbies check that out if you also want to learn blueprints and yeah let us get started with learning materials so first i'm gonna try to explain what what a material is uh, very quickly so when you download a texture file for games you have a few different pictures which are maps like all of these you put them on the same material so that they can create like this realistic texture or stylized depending on what you want we have the diffuse map which is the color and texture of the material then we have the normal map which is for bumpiness and how some details it will look like it's deeper in some parts and more more shallow in others so this is what normal maps are for we have the displacement map which is similar to the normal maps but it actually changes the models we are not going to be touching this today we have the roughness which tells you how um you know shiny stuff are or how sometimes it looks wet roughness but it's usually for shiny stuff and we have specular which is also for how shiny things are but let us so we are not going to be actually putting the texture first we are going to check out how to create the material in the engine for that i'm going to create a new folder and i'm going to call it materials and inside of it i'm going to create the material itself so inside of the materials folder right click and you can create a material just like this or you can go to materials and textures and create the same thing now we have a lot of material types we are not going to get into them today we are just going to go with the basic material i'm going to call this mat one so this is material one from all of the materials that we want to make if you open it you can see a lot of stuff over here it looks like blueprints a lot so if you take a look here you can actually see some of the stuff that we have like some of the names that i mentioned in the texture so let us check them out one by one and see what they do over here on the palette you can see that you have a lot of stuff i mean this stuff even i don't know all of them i don't know most of them actually and i'm not really used to making materials but i really know the basics and the intermediate stuff so i'm not really an, a material expert or anything over here you want to memorize these three first these three are very important to memorize and you should definitely like keep them in your mind because they are the normal values that you will need so if you drag in one of them you can see the number zero this is basically just a number then you get the constant three vector which is three numbers this is basically a color as you can see you can change the color and press ok and the values will change oh no they didn't why why is that let me try again oh i forgot to hire this one okay here we go you can see that there is a color now and the number changes for this one there is no color it's just one number and that's why we have the constant two vector which is red and green without blue we are not gonna need this so let us try out the color we have this color and you can plug it into the base color and if you take a look here you can see that you have the same color displayed on your material so now it's I mean, you can say it's a texture, that's the word that gamers use, and if you're not familiar with game development, you probably don't know what materials are. So over here we have a texture that I downloaded uh, online, and I'm gonna import the stuff that I'm gonna need to use. So I'm only gonna import the diffuse, normal, roughness, and specular, and I'm gonna place them there because I wanna show you the example. But there we go. Now, if you open the material again, you can just get 
you can just drag in the diffuse map or all of them you can just plug in the texture instead of the color and you will see that it actually works here oh my god that's like magic or something but yeah it just works and it displays it on the texture now let us try out the constant without the three vectors uh, yeah without the three vectors just the constant it's black but if you make it one it becomes white and basically this is like the colors from black to white it has gray in the middle and then when it's at zero it's just black so this one it's not actually useful for the colors but for the specular and the roughness oh no without the specular for the metallic and the roughness this will come in handy so we're gonna save that for later so we, we we are not gonna be using the texture first we are just gonna go with the color so that i can explain all of the ones you need at first okay so let us plug in the base color and you will see that the color is there now we have this one called metallic and if you drag in the constant without three vector and plug it in you will see that the metallic is now zero but this doesn't change because it's zero at default but if you press one you will see that the texture kind of looks like metal right now actually not kind of it's just straight up metal so if you drag in another constant now it look it's metal so basically one is completely metal zero is not metal at all and if you go with anything in between it will be anything in, in between so that's how it is so now that we have tried this you can see like it's now half metal okay but i'm just gonna keep it at one we are gonna be creating this chrome kind of look with it so yeah i'm just gonna be showing you like an example so for that we are gonna go and plug in the zero constant into the roughness and you will see that oh my god this looks amazing it's the chrome i told you about so here we go we now have this chrome material and if you click apply and go back into your game and try it on something let us like add in a cube or something actually no let's try it with a sphere and press end and just drag the material onto it you can just you can either drag it onto the onto stuff like this or what you can do is you can actually select something and press this button so that it applies the material and you can see that the material looks fantastic when it's on the ground but we don't want it on the ground so i'm just gonna undo yeah as you can see you have your material over here and i've adjusted this third person template so that it's first person now true first person you can see that it looks fantastic i just love it so much anyway that's what it is now what i'm going to do is this material i'm not going to touch it anymore now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to duplicate it so that we don't have to touch it and the name will be mat 2 automatically now we are going to open it and let us change the color to something else or you know having the same color could be a nice example so let's just keep it now let me show you something cool which is like super magical if we drag out of this one and type multiply and go connect it to the uh, emissive color and you get a constant and connect it to the b then you make the value one you will see that oh first you need to disconnect the base color and this one and this one as well i think we don't need them oh i forgot okay okay my bad my bad i'm, I'm not gonna edit this out by the way let us try making the number for the uh constant 100 and you will see the magic that we just made it doesn't matter if it's metallic and rough or not rough anyway um yeah what this will do is it will make your stuff shiny and you can keep going with the numbers as much as you want it will just keep getting shinier so if i duplicate the sphere and i add in the material for the shiny material i mean the shiny material yeah 
why am I not talking properly anymore? You can see that this magical shiny material works now and it looks fantastic. And this is how you do uh, materials for light bulbs or lamps or anything like that that shines. You, you add an em emissive material and that will just work. And when it's turned off, you will just change the material from the blueprint. I'm not going to teach you that now. But yeah, that's how they do it in games and that's how I'm doing it in my game. So anyway, let us exit and do du duplicate this once more. Now we have the third one. And for this, I'm just going to disconnect the multiply and delete it. We don't need it. And I'm going to make it metallic without roughness. So I'm just going to do all of the types and show you how they look. So now it's just metallic. You know, I, I don't think we can go more than one with metallic. I don't know if it becomes even more metallic if we make it 100, unlike the emissive color. Yeah, it's just, it's just no matter how much you go, it's just the same as one. So you don't need to go above one. It's just metallic 100%. So we are just gonna duplicate this and we have we can just add in the material and you will see that we have three types of the same color but different styles style yeah um so yeah now that we have done that let us create one more and do it rough but not metallic so if you go over here i mean not rough the opposite of rough so roughness goes zero you connect it to the roughness and metallic yeah we don't need it to look metallic and you can see that this looks also different it looks like plastic or wet plastic i don't know you can also make it look like anything's wet with the roughness like slightly wet that's how i do it sometimes anyway let us copy the sphere once more and apply this material yeah you can see it looks like wet plastic that's how it is you can also do glass and many other stuff. I'm not going to include them in this tutorial. I'm just going with the basic stuff. But you also could do opacity stuff, you know, the hair, anything with materials. It's just possible to do it. So now that we have learned the basic, basic stuff, let us try adding the texture and making a material out of it. Now, I have already imported this previously, but we want to make a material for it so i'm just going to duplicate this once more and this is the final one we are going to cover today now we have all of these values we don't need them actually it's very simple to do the very very basic material with textures so just drag in the diffuse actually let's do them one by one you drag in the diffuse connect it to the base color and there you go, you have your base color. Now it looks kind of like plastic and not real uh, marble. So we are going to add in the normal map and make it look a little bit more realistic. And if you connect the RGB of the normal map to the normal, you will see that it looks a little bit more, you know, bumpier. Over here you can see that it looks darker and it has like smaller details like not details you can see that it looks you know not as flat as before now you could actually multiply the normal map and make it even stronger so if you add in a multiply and connect it to the normal and for the b value you want to get a constant and make the number 100 now i'm not sure if this is going to work with huge numbers but i think it backfires sometimes so I don't know if this one works. Let us see. Now to, to move this properly, you can press shift and middle mouse and move it around. And you can also change it over here to spheres, cubes. As you can see, we have a cube now. We also have the cylinder. Anyway, we can try connecting the normal without the multiply again. You know, let's just make it normal, normal. Now there is a process to make it stronger with the multiply, but I'm not sure really about the numbers. We can just work on that later when we get into the more advanced stuff. Anyway, we have added diffuse and normal. Let's add the roughness. Oh, w wait, wait, we don't need it from the folder. I forgot that. Anyway, let's go here and go with the roughness map. 
and same thing you can just go there and connect it to the roughness and it will actually work can you believe it as you can see it now looks like the shine of the actual marble looks fantastic now with the roughness map you know this is very essential and a lot of people just go with normal like just specular map without roughness map i'm not sure why but yeah i really like roughness maps they give a nice detail to stuff anyway next we have the specular map you can just connect it to the specular and you will have the um, specular map and it's actually decreased the roughness a little bit more but you can see that the shine over here looks really really realistic and oh my god it looks fantastic i love it if you try it on a sphere again you can probably see yeah you can see the shine how detailed it is and the normal map looks also fantastic on it now there are a lot of stuff we can cover for when it comes to materials we have the you know how to make water materials how to make hair materials how to make materials that move you know grass materials uh we can just cover all of them maybe i could do like a few videos on that but for now we have covered all of the basics of materials let us actually try this i forgot to actually put this on the sphere in the game so if we go here and copy the sphere once more i'm gonna place it on this side this time and change the material with the new one you can see that it looks fantastic i love it so much you can see the reflection of the shiny material on the marble material it looks amazing and we have the shiny material the chrome material the metallic material the rough plastic material you know these are stuff you don't need textures for if you have like a kids game or something you, you just can create it with these and you don't need any assets or you can just go the realistic route like me and go with textures now let us actually try this texture on the floor and see if it looks nice you can see that it actually looks huge and that is not good so we can actually fix that quickly you know this issue is coming because the actual model is not really uv mapped to the um to the texture or the material so what we can do is very very simple thing you can right click or you can search here if you want and you can just type in texture coordinate and what this one does is it actually resizes all of your textures based on your desires so you can just over here drag out and connect it to the uvs of all of them or the UVs slot and now they all will have the same size based on what you set it to with the texture coordinate so for this one I'm gonna go with I think if you go with bigger numbers it'll get smaller so let us try that out if you go with five for both you can see that the texture actually got smaller and since this is a seamless texture it just works it looks very much smaller so now if you minimize it you can see that it actually looks smaller oh my god that's insane but it still looks huge so we are gonna scale it down even more i think we can go with 15 safely without making it too small so let us try that out 15 15 and hit apply and now if you go back outside and hit play you can see that we have actual marble floor oh my god it looks amazing and you know this doesn't look good because the skylight doesn't look good so if we turn off the light source delete it you can see it looks much nicer on a dim floor or in in, in dim light lighting so you can see how gorgeous this is with point lights so yeah look at how the this um shiny material reflects on it look at the reflections from the point light i added oh my god this just blows my mind although it's like technology from 2014 or even older but it blows my mind with how gorgeous these reflections are and ray tracing isn't even on for this project so yeah that's like insane but yeah we learned about materials that was it 
Um, that was like the basics every person who is learning Unreal Engine should know about materials. I really hope this was useful guys and that you have learned the basics of materials from me. Now I might go deeper into materials and do more videos about it. Like this is my first video about materials ever since I have started my entire channel. I have been so focused on blueprints all the time. I did a few like two or three videos on level design but they were time lapses and not tutorials but when it comes to materials this is actually my first time touching materials since I have started doing tutorials so yeah I don't know how it just went on for that long without me having to talk about materials but here we go wait let me let me actually delete this yeah it looks much better without this shit you can see it looks amazing without it anyway uh, if you guys have enjoyed watching and this was useful for you please make sure to like the video and subscribe if you are new to the channel because we are trying to reach 20,000 subscribers as I mentioned before and I need your help with doing that anyway thank you very much for watching super special thanks to my patrons who are supporting this channel thank you very much I really appreciate it all right guys see you next time take care have a great day and bye